ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಶುಭೋದಯ ಶುಭ ಸಂಜೆ ಶುಭ ಮಧ್ಯಾಹ್ನ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಎಟ್ ವಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಬಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಬಾಬ್ಲಿ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಆಟ್ ದ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಕನ್ನಡ ತೋ ಆತ ನಹಿ ಮುಂಚೆ ಬಟ್ ಥೋಡಾ ಇತ್ನಾ ತೋ ಆತ ಕಿ ಶುಭೋದಯ ವಗೈರ ವಗೈರ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಡಿನರಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೈರ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಓ ಡಿ ಇ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಿಬಲ್ ಇ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇ ಸಿ ಇ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಓಕೆ in the ec stream it is the fourth module and in the triple e stream it is the first module okay so same syllabus is over there uh, and i have uploaded three videos on this particular topic uh, if you have not watched it yet you can go through the description box i have provided the link over there okay so today i will solve the model question paper uh, question number 7 okay this is your solve d square minus 4d plus 3 into y is equal to e raised power x plus 1 whole square okay so let me write down the solution as you already know the standard equation for the higher order differential equation is f of d of y is equal to q of x so first of all you have to check is this equation matching with this equation see here this term is in terms of the d so it is f of d multiplied by y multiplied by y is equal to q of x so this term is in the format of x so that is why i am writing here as q of x so it is matching with this so definitely we can now find out the solution and you should also know the solution of this uh, higher order differential equation is always equal to y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral this is the general solution of the ordinary differential equation where you are supposed to calculate the complementary function and particular integral so first step is auxiliary uh, we have to make auxiliary equation by putting f of d is equal to 0 this f of d i have to put 0 means uh, the term which is in terms of the d over here okay so the equation which is in terms of d you have to take that one so that is d square minus 4d plus 3 is equal to 0 this is your auxiliary equation now in order to find out the roots i have told you in the previous video also you can manually calculate the roots and in the calc also but better to calculate in the sorry better to calculate manually there is a formula uh, splitting the middle term if it is not if splitting the middle term is not applied on this then there is another formula that is roots are always equal to suppose m is equal to minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a you may be aware of this particular formula in the 10th class itself okay so you can calculate roots uh, by this formula also so let me calculate here uh, in the calc also okay so alpha a there is the polynomial so it is second degree polynomial that is i have to take it as second so what is the coefficient of d that is 1 is equal to minus 4 is equal to 3 is equal to is equal to so roots are uh, 3 and next root is 1 so i can write down here the roots of auxiliary equation auxiliary equation are 3 comma 1 you can also put uh, replace this d with the m over there as uh, in the most of the colleges they are using m so i can write write down here put d is equal to m okay so equation will be m square minus 4m plus 3 both things are the same no need to worry okay steps are same you can calculate in terms of d also you can calculate in terms of m also so i can write down here these uh, the roots of this particular equation are 3 comma 1 so i have written it over here okay so this is m1 is equal to 3 m2 is equal to 1 these are the roots as you already know there are different types of roots uh, one is the roots are uh, real and different rules uh, sorry roots are real and equal roots are imaginary and equal roots are imaginary and different but in this case we are getting real and different roots t is different from one obviously so there is the complementary function for it uh, complementary function is equal to c1 e power m1x plus c2 e power m2x okay this is the complementary function for this case where the roots are real and different i can write down c1 e power what is the m1 value t so 3 times x plus c2 e power m2 is 1 so i can write 1x means x over here so this is your complementary function now you are supposed to calculate the particular integral then by combining those com uh, complementary function and particular integral you will get the solution for the this particular equation okay so now let me solve it further so particular integral there is the formula 1 divided by f of d which is equal to sorry uh, multiplied by q of x so 1 upon f of d is in the question itself that is d square minus 4d d square minus 4d plus 3 multiplied by q of x so q of x is this term which is in terms of x so e power x plus 1 whole square i hope you are getting this right so this is the formula a plus b whole square so it is equal to a square 
plus b square plus 2ab. ab means this is a, e power x is a and 1 is b over here. So, this is your formula divided by d square minus 4d plus 3. Now, I can over simplify it that is e power x2 that is 2x plus 1 plus 2 a raised for e raised power x divided by d square minus 4d plus 3. Okay, up to this is it clear? Okay, so now let me know in the comment section that you are understanding these concepts, right? So now let me uh, further solve it. So I will just separately divide each and every term in this case. So e raised power 2x I will divide d square minus 4d plus 3 it separately plus 1 upon d square minus 4d plus 3 plus 2ex divided by d square minus 4d plus 3. I am separately dividing each and every term in the numerator. Okay. Now you can replace as you know already in the particular integral there are so many cases. So this is probably sorry this is obviously the first case over here where e raised power 2x comes in the picture. Also I will write down here e raised power ax is general formula in the particular integral if this is the case you have to replace this d with the a over here okay the coefficient of x but in this case what is the coefficient of x 2 instead of a there is 2 so i will replace so, uh, sorry first of all i will just name these terms as p1 p2 p3 so first we will calculate p1 p1 term is e raised power 2x divided by d square minus 4d plus 3 okay now replace replace d is equal to that is 2 instead of a here is 2 that is why i am replacing d is equal to a means d is equal to 2 so which is equal to e raised power 2x divided by d square means uh, you have to replace 2 value okay so 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 3 which is equal to e raised power 2x divided by 2 square is 4 minus 4 twos are 8 plus 3 so you will get e raised power 2x divided by 4 minus 4 minus 8 is uh, minus 4 minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 so i can write down here as minus 1 which is equal to minus e power 2x this is your p1 term okay so p1 is equal to minus e power 2x okay now let me calculate p2 term what is the p2 term 1 divided by d square minus 4d plus 3 1 divided by d square minus 4d plus 3 now in this case there is no e raised power ax like that term so in this case you have to put down d is equal to 0 there is no a in this case so 1 divided by 0 square minus 4 into 0 plus 3 which is equal to 1 divided by 0 minus 0 is 0 plus 3 so 1 divided by 3 you are getting p2 so p2 is equal to 1 upon 3 okay are you getting yeah then p3 term p3 is equal to this one 2 e raised power x divided by d square minus 4d 2 a raised power x d square minus 4 d plus 3. Now in this case, what is the a value? Coefficient of x is 1 over here. So now replace d is equal to 1. Okay. Replace d by 1. So I can write down here 2 a raised power x divided by instead of d you have to take 1. So 1 square minus 4 into d that is 1 plus 3. So 2 e raised power x divided by 1 minus 4 is uh, 1 minus 4 is minus 3. So minus 3 plus 3 it will become 0. 2 e raised power x divided by 0 but this should not be the case where denominator is equal to 0 in that particular case i have told you you should multiply the particular function with x in the numerator and denominator you have to differentiate okay so let me do accordingly p3 is equal to x multiplied by 2 e raised power x divided by differentiation of this term what is the differentiation of d square that is 2d power down and uh, this d you have to write then what is the differentiation of 4d 4 simply okay plus differentiation of 3 is 0 so plus 0 i can write which is equal to x into 2 e power x divided by 2 d minus 4 now this is the function now you can replace with d with uh, 1 1 over here okay as coefficient of x is 1 so replace d by 1 okay now i can write p3 is equal to x 2 e power x divided by instead of d you have to take 1 so 2 ones are 2 2 minus 4 is minus 2 2 2 will get cancelled you will get minus x e raised power x this is your p3 okay now i can write down the general solution for this particular uh, problem over here particular equation over here okay so the general solution of the equation is y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral 
so y is equal to complementary function we have already uh, calculated okay so let me show you first here so this is your complementary function c1 e power 3x so i can write down here c1 e power 3x plus c2 e power x c2 e power x plus particular integral particular integral we have break down into three terms see here this is your particular integral p1 p2 p3 you have to write down p1 value first p1 value is minus e power 2x so minus e power 2x plus p2 p2 value is 1 by 3 1 upon 3 plus then p3 value is minus times x e power x okay minus times x e power x this is your particular integral right now i can over simplify it y is equal to c1 e power 3x plus c2 e power x plus minus is minus e power 2x plus 1 upon 3 this is plus minus is minus x raised power e power x this is the general solution for your ordinary differential equation of higher order so by calculating complementary function and particular integral i hope this is clear to you people so make sure you will share it with all your friends who are struggling with the mathematics subject and thanks for watching my video